everybody. So, as you can see, the car's got snow on it. Yes, I am filming this video on the same day as my really short, very boring snow video of my Toyota. But since it's the weekend, and I do have a new project to do for this car, finally it came out of the blue last night. Uh, I met with a guy, Derek, off of Facebook, and he was trying to trade a seat, a non-reclining seat, and was wanting a reclinable one. And since I have my harness bar, and I've never installed a passenger seat for this car, I've been wanting one, and it just seemed right, so this is what we're doing. Now, I didn't film taking the other seat out because there's a video of me putting it in. If you need to figure out how to do that, I will, sorry, I will put that video at the end of this one with the link and you guys can just follow that. So, as you can see, there's snow on my floorboard. The seat's already out and should be pretty much a cut and dried thing. We are gonna have to be very careful because I'm not putting sliders on this seat. It will be solid mounted. And he also gave me an idea that a lot of people do to make the seat even firmer so there's less roll to the seat to actually bolt the seat not only to the bracket for the bottom but also to the harness bar. And I'm gonna look into that at one point as well but that will not be in this video. But we do have from the other video our wedge engineering seat bracket. So we are going to basically put the bracket in loosely with just two bolts to hold it in place and we're gonna find the placement for the seat. We're probably gonna have to shim it from the bottom a little bit, I'm guessing. Yes, we're probably gonna have to shim it a little bit on the bottom so it sits up high enough, but it shouldn't be a big deal. I think we're only gonna need maybe an inch and I have hardware already and we could probably get that done tonight, as a matter of fact. I have some one inch square aluminum stock right over there that we can cut some, and uh, we're gonna get this thing mounted in here tonight so this car is ready to go by Monday. As long as my garage doesn't become a swamp, because as you can see, uh, the car is literally thawing out sitting in here. It's, it's doing a mess, so. Okay, let me get this bracket set in there and we'll start measuring to get our seat mounted. Okay, so here's where we're at. I have the bracket setting in and I only have the two front bolts on just so it won't move so I can set the seat on it and gauge height and all of that. So let me see if how well we can do this here. Get the seat. Scratch, break, etc. Anything? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to drill a couple more holes in the bracket because it's gonna have to come forward a little bit. I can tell that already. That's about where I usually sit. I have that front pad out so I can move the seat around, but you can see the camera will adjust to the light ever, but it's not, because why would it? So that's the original hole that the others were, where the sliders were mounted on, but since we're solid mounting it, I'm gonna have to drill forward a little bit here. That won't be, yeah, that's better. That won't be too big of a deal. And there is going, I looked under there, yeah, there is one of the holes that will line up there for uh, for the front. So let me drop, let me get a couple bolts and drop it in the front and just see if that's about where we are. And I think I might have to put quarter inch, half inch spacer, bring the seat up just a little bit. I can bring the back up a little bit more with the adjustment here, but I like the way the seat sits right now and I don't want to change that too much so let me get a couple bolts real, real quick here and drop them in the front and see if that's about how forward I need to be. I have two bolts just set in the front I put one out on the back just so I can gauge my good 
God, the lighting is just awful, and I apologize. There. Uh, I think that that's about where I want it to be. I set in it, and my driving position is a little bit further back than I usually am. I'm going to think about it a little bit. I might just drill, because I've already got to drill the, the bracket down here. And I know that we still can't see it, and I'm starting to get annoyed. I'm already going to have to drill the bracket to mount the back bolts to the seat. And I know that already. What I'm debating now is... Oh, I just had an idea. Uh, what I'm debating now is... Do I want to move it another inch forward so it's exactly where I want it to be and just drill two more holes in the side mounts? And I, I'm just not sure yet. I'm going to have to think about that a little bit more and uh, see if, if that's what I want to do. I might end up doing that, honestly, just because I want it to be perfect. But right now, I can get in and out of the car pretty easily. And I like that. But I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it a little bit more. I mean, if, if I end up wanting it to be moved a little bit, I could always move it. That won't be a big deal. Uh, but I've just noticed that... Let's see if I can get the light here so we can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to need another human being to start being a camera person for me. I'm noticing here that the actual seat mount is further in than the outside of this bracket. And what I'm going to do now that I'm looking at it is I am going to lift the seat an inch, but I'm going to, I have about two feet, two and a half feet of one inch aluminum square stock. And I think I'm just going to cut a piece that's this length and I will bolt the back here and I'll end up having to use two extra bolts, but I'll bolt the back here to hold the stock. I'll bolt the side mount through the aluminum stock and then the front bolt will hold the side mount, the spacer down to the bracket. So that won't be too big of a deal. Other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way this sits in here. I think it looks good. I like the way it looks. I think it sits nice in there. And uh, where the belt loops are, and I still have the plastic on the back. The belt loops are, it's, it's actually lower than it was, which is good because most racing, I don't know what you want to call them, regulations, the belt can't be but a couple inches below your shoulders. And as it was, my shoulders were a little further up, but here it's going to be, it's going to be a more safe angle for me to run the belt. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to think more about this seat and how exactly I want to leave it. If I want to leave it here, if I want to move it forward, and uh, either way, whichever I decide, that doesn't matter. The end result is I'm going to have the seat and the bracket back out of here. And I will be cutting that aluminum spacer next. So let me get this all out and on the workbench and we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the spacers I made. It's just one inch aluminum stock. And I have left a little bit of room so I can move the seat if I end up needing to. If something else changes with the car... So I don't have to make new ones. So I've left them a little bit long and I've drilled into the second adjustment hole. So I do still have some flexibility and I went to Lowe's and got some bolts and I forgot to get washers. So I already know that I need flat and lock washers on there, but I added another small spacer just to angle the seat just a little bit more. So I lean back a little bit more and that is pretty much all I did. It didn't take long. It took me longer to actually go to Lowe's and get the stock than it did to cut everything. And I angled them and filed them so they're smooth. There's no burrs. But that's all I really did. That's, I think this stick of aluminum was only like $10 or something. And the rest of it is still here. But uh, that's all I really did. It only took me six bolts. So two extra than what it initially had. And it's still lighter than it was. So... 
let me get this thing set down in the car and run some bolts in it and see how it's going to be. And here we are bolted in. Bolted in, I don't, I don't know why I would have to show you guys that. I threw four bolts into the floor pan of the car. Uh, I'm. It worked out perfectly. I, there's not really much more I can say about how well it, it ended up fitting. Uh, the driving position is almost perfect for me. Uh, keep in mind, I'm only five foot eight, so I'm really not big at all. And I can reach the pedals just where I want. My only concern for a moment was because of my shifter, with it coming straight up and not leaning forward, my elbow goes into the nook here every time I shift gears, especially second. So it, I'm getting a phone call. So it actually fit perfectly. I was really happy about it. There's there's actually more room now in the back than there was. Forgive my dog's bed there on the on the seat, but there's actually some more room back here now. Like you can even see there's a good gap here because this seat is so much thinner than the other one. Uh, it's it fits a lot better. Like the entire seat just fits in the car better. So I, I couldn't be happier. This was a really simple video compared to the other one where I was putting the seat brackets on and fitting the car uh, from scratch with racing seats. But uh, I wanted to do this anyway because it is an update on this car and the things that are changing to it. And a lot of people go for a non-reclining fixed seat like this. And I just was very careful to measure and make sure that the seat was in the position I wanted it in before I actually started drilling holes. It fits perfectly. I'm, like I said, I'm just extremely thrilled with the fitment and the comfort of the seat. And it, there is some give when you twist your shoulders uh, up top, but like I said, uh, the guy I got the seat from, Derek, told me about actually mounting the seat to the harness bar and I'll go a couple races this season and see how it fits and how much it twists. And if it, I feel like it's twisting a little bit too much, I might end up going and doing that. But for now, it fits perfectly. I've already set it and buckled the belts. So I, I'm just, it worked perfectly. So if there's any questions, just drop them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Behind me, you'll see a call.